Welcome back to the Tales of St. Gwen. Today's story will be about the salamanders, the space marines. And to begin, I have a few stories of times that I've come across space marines. I have met black templars, white scars, ultramarines, but none of them can compare, in my mind, to the salamanders. Yes, all space marines are taller than any normal man, engineered to be the superior warrior, and can pound anyone into the ground. But each legion holds their own doctrine and beliefs. I was months into a holy war against demons, green pestilence having run rampant across the battlefield, releasing toxic chemicals when killed. My helmet had been destroyed within the first month of deployment, and now I adorned an advanced gas mask that the soldiers wore whenever I was at the battlefield. We had done everything we could to protect the citizens of the world, corralling them in into a small city a few miles off the main drag, but many of our convoys had been attacked mid-transport, leaving only a dozen that made it to the safe zone. I had seen some of the citizens that hadn't made it to the battlefield, walking like fictional zombies with pestilence and pus-filled boils across their bodies. We had tried to evacuate the remaining citizen, but after two shuttles had been torn from the sky by great unclean ones, we had given up on that. What remained of the military leadership were constantly in a tent, trying to find some way to evacuate the citizens. After six months, we had no escape plan. Supplies were running low, and no way to get more in. I had watched the citizens seem to wither, becoming gaunt from missing multiple meals during a day, most days of the week, barely able to sleep with the war zone going on outside. Their souls were scarred. In a rare moment of quiet, I looked across the field. A sea of disgusting green looked back at me, nurgling bodies laying across their larger chaos brethren. If we don't have an exit strategy soon, we will all die on this rock, a soldier said to me. My commander had given me this sector to patrol and defend, and while I would never voice it, I agreed with the soldier. We must pray that the Emperor has sent us help. What could he do? He hasn't helped humanity in years. This made me look at the soldier, which must have terrorized him because he shrunk back. I guess the pure white hair and gas mask was scary, but the heavy blaster I held probably helped. Do not speak of the Emperor in such a way. I was cut short of lecturing him by the sound of a drop shuttle. My eyes moved to the sky, seeing the three drop pods inbound. I heard feet run to my section. My commander stopped, stopping next to me. Doth my eyes deceive me? I asked, narrowing my eyes to look at the dropships better. Were we expecting reinforcements? Did we get a signal out? No. Our towers were destroyed months ago. Any platoon we sent out to repair them never returned. Then who? Who would be brave enough, stupid enough, to drop a ship into this battle? Without my helmet, I couldn't see the sigil that was on the side of one of the dropships. When battling Nurgle, anyone could have shown up, including Chaos Space Marines. By the Maker, my commander said, it is the Salamanders. The dropships hit the ground at that, my eyes able to see the Salamander sigil on the side, and I released the tension in my shoulders. Salamanders were a Space Marine chapter having been made before the Horus Heresy under the Primarch Vulcan. In stark contrast to their space marine brethren, the Salamander cared for the general populace of the Imperium. Their power armor was one of dark green, the Salamander sigil on the side like the beasts of their homeworld of Nocturne. Underneath their helmets were marines with pitch black skin, 
red eyes that bore through your head, all trademarks of their time on Nocturne. Thirty salamanders exited their drop pods, moving to our side of the barricade quickly. No doubt the drop pods would call attention to the enemy, and it would only be a matter of time before they were once again on us. The green of the salamanders was a stark difference to the green on the field, a deep forest instead of a green pus. They were as tall as the burned trees, walking with purpose towards us. Who is the commander of this battle? Their leaders spoke, eyeing us. I am, the, my commander spoke. While well, we're grateful for your assistance, we did not know you were coming. We heard the last distress signal you sent. You said you had civilians. Yes, over a thousand made it safely, but more were lost on the journey. A thousand is cause to celebrate. The world is overrun with green. You can see it from space. You should be proud. Thank you, the commander spoke. She led the group of space marines to the tent, motioning for me to follow her. I did so, following her into the tent. Even inside I didn't remove my gas mask, knowing spores traveled far. What are your evacuation plans? The commander asked. At this point we have none, my commander said. Every attempt has been derailed for... or a complete disaster. We've seen four unclean ones. They take great pleasure in throwing nurglings at our shuttle. They are playing with us, I said, glaring at the map at the table. And you are? The salamander asked. This is Sister Gwen, my commander spoke, pride on her voice. Besides myself, she has the most experience fighting heretics. Where is your helmet, sister? Crushed by an unclean one, I said. You were that close to one? Why? A young child had fallen down, I explained. I held my breath, throwing my helmet to give me a chance to save that child. I could feel the pride in my commander from my actions. The salamander nodded to his second in command, who brought forth a helmet. May this helmet serve you well. It might not have been through your sacred halls, been blessed like the rest of your armor, but it will protect you from taint. I was shocked, but I took the helmet nonetheless. I held my breath, taking the gas mask off and pulling the helmet on. I'm glad it fits, he spoke with humor in his voice. Here are the plans. We will clear the path for the shuttles to take the civilians off the world, to ships that can take them far from here. Once done, we will leave you to your war of faith. That will require facing unclean ones, my commander spoke. I do hope you are prepared for that. We are, though since there are four, we may ask for any troops that you can spare us. Gwen here can aid you, my commander spoke and I stood straight. Her shot is as good as her chain sword. Wonderful. It will be an honor to fight alongside a sister. When dawn broke in the sky, I walked with three space marines to the last location of the great unclean one. We walked in silence, our ears trained for any noise. When we arrived at the location, I felt my stomach drop. In cages were the civilians that we thought we had lost, being taken out one by one to the unclean one so he, so he could poison them. We have to save as many as we can, the commander spoke. Gwen, once we charge, clear a path to those civilians and free them. They are most likely already tainted. What should I do if they are? Your job. Do you understand? I only nodded in response. He nodded back at me before running from behind the tree, guns blazing. I followed, letting my blaster clear my path to the cages. When I looked at them, I felt sick to my stomach, 
Some of them had already been affected, begging for help or death. Death came as swiftly as I killed those who had been tainted, moving to the next cage. None of those were saved from taint. The last prisoner reached for me, blood already pouring from her nose. Please, her voice begged. With a final shot, I ended her pain, then turned to look at the salamanders. They had reached the great unclean one, though plague bearers were nipping at their heels. With precision, I aimed, shooting the demons in the back, aiding where I could. While aiding them, I didn't see the demon run up to me, tackling me to the ground. My heavy blaster went flying out of my hands as I grappled with the demon. I could hear the yells of the salamanders, but my mind was focused on getting to my pistol. Once in hand, I pushed into the, demon, into the demon's mouth, letting off half a dozen shots. I could see the sky through his skull when I was done, standing up. I discarded my pistol, knowing it was tainted now and no longer of use, and pulled my chain sword forward. My sword finally rested when the zone was cleared, the great unclean one laying amongst the dead of its lesser demons. We returned to the camp, sadness filling us from the loss of the civilians, finding the other salamanders already there. They had managed to save over two dozen citizens, as they were not tainted yet, and that lifted our spirits. With the sky clear from danger, we loaded the civilians as fast as we could, getting them off planet. The salamanders followed the civilians off planet, leaving us to kill off the taint that was left on the planet. Thank you for coming to this tale of the salamanders in St. Gwen. If you like the video, please give it a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see or listen to more. It all helps the channel greatly. And I will see you in the next one.